Hey, it's Kip K from Make Magazine with another weekend project. This one's a fun one for the kids. Hey, remember these? Soapbox derby car, basically a piece of wood that you carve out, throw some paint on, some stickers, nail the wheels on, and don't forget the warning label. Those nails are sharp. And then you head it down the track and hope for the best. Well, this week we're gonna make something a little bit different. It's a mousetrap powered car on this week's weekend project. You can buy the mousetrap powered vehicle at the Make Store at store.makezine.com or you can build your own. Everything you need is in the package. The mousetrap, the balsa wood, axles, uh, but if you want to build your own, you'll need three pieces of balsa wood, two side rails, and uh, one deck top. Now you'll glue the deck top centered on the side rails. Then you'll want to drill two quarter inch holes in the side rails, three quarter inch from each end. You also need two brass tubes which serve as the axles, four small washers that go on the axles, and then eight rubber spacers that are placed up against the washers. Now leave some leeway and make sure that the axles spin freely. Your wheels will be the DVD spacers, you know those clear dummy ones that come in a pack of DVDs? Well you'll need four of those. Insert four more rubber spacers in each wheel and then slip them on the axles at the very end. The power source will be a regular mousetrap. Using wire cutters, cut the mousetrap snapper arm at the corner on the side where the mousetrap spring is pushing against the snapper's arm. Remove the mousetrap's locking bar and save this part for the next step. Now using a pair of pliers, you'll want to straighten the non-loop end of the locking bar. Make sure it's nice and straight and then slide it all the way onto your 12 inch by 8 inch brass tube. This will be your lever arm. Now it may fit tightly, if not, you'll want to super glue the end in place. Now you know the snapper arm that you cut earlier on the mouse trap? Well you'll want to slip the end of the lever arm over that and make sure the tube slides under the mouse trap spring arm at the base of the snapper. Now the front of the mouse trap is determined by the direction the snapper arm is pointing. So you'll want to glue the mouse trap 10 and a quarter inches from the drive axle to the back end of the mouse trap. Then taking a small zip tie, wrap it around the center of the drive axle and pull it nice and tight and clip off the end. You may also want to super glue that zip tie in place so it doesn't move. Then you're going to need a piece of string. In the mouse trap package it comes with a piece of Kevlar string which is 36 inches long. Tie one end of the string to the locking bar loop that you slid inside the long brass tube and then pull the string tight. You want it to be just long enough to reach to the drive axle, maybe even a little bit shorter. Tie a loop knot in that end. This Make Weekend Project is powered by Radio Shack. Visit Radio Shack Invention Lab for more projects and exclusive videos and the chance to win Radio Shack prizes. We're here at our test location, basically the back parking lot of a shopping center. We've got our mousetrap powered vehicle and I added one little trick that's recommended and that's taking some uh, powdered graphite and applying it to the axles and all the moving parts. So we're going to crank back our mousetrap arm and give this a test run. Okay, so we basically uh, get our Kevlar string here and want to hook it on this rear axle. I'm hooking it on the part of the uh, zip tie. So when you wind it, you want to keep it tight. Keep some pressure on the Kevlar string as you wind it down and uh, load it up. Here we go. Go, baby, go. Ah, there goes our wheel. Okay, uh, we're having... <laughs> obviously having a little bit of issue with our wheels. Uh, for some reason this wheel wants to keep falling off and uh, that's not going to help us. It's working. If the wheels will stay on, it should go as planned. Um, so we're going to go back to the shop and uh, I think what I'm probably going to do is uh, glue these wheels on, make sure they're on nice and tight, and then we'll be back. Okay, we're back and at a new location, uh, I noticed something about the parking lot uh, pavement. It was really rough. This is a, a newly paved road, so we're going to give the mousetrap racer a shot on this. It's wound up and uh, 
ready to go. Hey, that's going pretty good. Oh, it's going pretty straight. All right. Now there's other things that you can do in the instructions to make it a faster vehicle, and now those might be worth uh, giving a shot, but so far, this thing's working pretty good. So there you have it, the mousetrap powered vehicle with a little tweaks and a flat surface. Now, if you had a uh, nice hallway that you could uh, shoot this down, it would really move out. But uh, it's a really cool design. Who would have ever thought that a mousetrap would serve a purpose of moving a vehicle? So there's your mousetrap powered vehicle. We'll see you next time. Yeah.